let's talk about our closest cousins the chimpanzees they also have hands yes their hands are way more powerful than our hands okay yes this is the stronger species yes i am assuming our hands are more superior than their hands in terms of intricacy like we have a neater handwriting yes um but there are very interesting studies of chimpanzees doing some pretty dexterous work and um, like there are chimpanzees who have learned to type on a keyboard which is pretty impressive right because learning to type is not an easy thing so there is a whole school of thought that a chimpanzee brain is capable of learning a lot of things that a human brain is um except that it's difficult to convince a chimpanzee brain as to why why should it learn it um but anyway that's a it's almost like an obscure question but the brain is almost the same a chimpanzee brain and a human brain is almost the same so the networks are all in place and chimpanzee brain also has dexterity so um there are monkeys who can solve who can work on a rubik's cube which takes a lot of dexterity like turning and all of that so it is possible um i'm i'm just trying to think of the cool things that humans can do with the hands that chimpanzees can't hmm i'd probably say art or something but that's not a function of the hand that's a function of thought Wh- where i'm going at with this is what humans are to chimpanzees the next stage of human kind will be to human beings interesting i'll tell you what it is so when we come when we talk about movement chimpanzees and humans theoretically would be capable of pretty much all of it okay so when we talk of evolution say yahan pe tumhara reptilian brain hai reptilian brain ke upar tumhara limbic system hai which is the emotional part of the brain monkeys also have this limbic system on top of the limbic system is your prefrontal cortex theek hai in the prefrontal cortex the oldest part is your motor cortex does that make sense so the motor cortex is where your hands and legs are getting moved chimpanzees orangutans great apes all have a motor cortex that is pretty much as developed as us but evolution didn't end there because beyond that evolution progressed our prefrontal cortex kept evolving and the most recent parts of our prefrontal cortex is where we differ from monkeys chimpanzees chimpanzees because we are capable of insight and this is where the story changes because till now from say the earliest microorganisms had no sense of whether it's alive or not we are guessing at some point chimpanzees seem to build a lot of animals actually seem to build a sense of community they would get they would form long lasting relationships they would break up they would do a lot of things that human societies also do so they are also ca- capable of thinking they would elect a leader there would be one person who's deciding everything they would fight against different tribes a lot of things that human beings are still doing but as far as we know they have cognition which means they can think but what they don't have is metacognition which is can they think about thinking hmm can they think about thinking can i think about why am i thinking it's like a human being dwelling upon his or her own mental health yes this is metacognition and this is something that only an evolved prefrontal cortex can do because until now everything else that a human being does a monkey can also do which is fight for food make a family take care of their kids go to work technically which is to go and find food build a tribe protect your family all of this monkeys also do what can humans do currently that a monkey cannot is to think about what am i doing here 
why am i here and why am i thinking what is this what am i what is going on the spiritual aspect of life you can think of it as a spiritual aspect of life you can just think of it as self awareness so this is the crux of the consciousness conversation which is like i said at the start of the episode consciousness is not binary you can't say this is conscious or not conscious consciousness is a loop it's a spiral are you conscious a bacteria is also conscious because it is acting but are you conscious of being conscious and are you conscious of being conscious of being conscious that spiral is what leads to evolution hey if you enjoyed today's clip make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel you'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it